I thought I'd take this opportunity just to explain quickly how to upload the CSV files that I put in our shared folder today. So you will have received an email from me with a link down the bottom of it to the folder that has all of the files in there. You go then scroll through this list, uh, find your name or your name is over on this side as well. Let's say I'm Buffy Peterson. I will click on the file. I'll then be prompted to download the file because it's a format that Google Docs um, doesn't normally open. So you'll get this preview that says download the file. I'll click on that to download. The file will then uh, download into my downloads folder, which that's complete now. So I'm going to go down to the downloads folder near my bin. My view looks a little different on this computer. I'm just going to drag that out. I'm going to put it on my desktop um, where I can easily find it. What you will need to do is open up the file in Excel. Just make sure that um, you've got the right students in your file, uh, that I haven't made a mistake when I've converted it. So check the first few just to make sure that they're there. And then if you need to change any phone numbers uh, due to parents changing phone numbers or emails, you should do that now and then save the file. If when you save the file it gives you a message to say that um, this message that says the workbook contains features that will not work, just press continue, don't press cancel, press continue and that will be fine. Then we can close down Excel. So once we've done that we're going to go, I'm going to go back into mail, I'm going to click on the contacts. Once contacts is open, all we need to do, it's very simple, we click on the more button, which is up the top, about a third of the way down there's an item there that says import, click on import, you're prompted then to choose a file, now I'll put my file on the desktop so it's quite easy to find, click on Buffy, open up the file, click on the blue button that says import, and then we'll just take a moment to sort itself out and it's in already. So it's very quick. Then I roll down here I can see two things. One is a, a folder or a group that says imported 8, 14, 12 which is today. And then there's also another group down here parents 2012, 2013. And if I click on this folder I'll see all of the contacts for my parents there. A handy thing um, is that when you when you look in each parent's name it will have the phone number for that parent and their email address as well as the name of the student with which they're a parent. So for instance if I was looking for both of Anthony, Anthony's parents I can look up Anthony and it will bring me Anthony's parents names because his name is mentioned in the notes but also other people who are in my contacts that have Anthony. So that's the main thing. One other quick thing is that um, if you want to be able to use that group, the Parents 2013 um, group as an email group, that will happen. It will just take about 24 hours before it will auto-complete like it's doing here. I set this group up a bit earlier. So just be aware that it may not pop up automatically straight away. You may have to wait for 24 hours until it will come up automatically. Otherwise, that's the very simple way of importing your parent group data. Relax and enjoy.